Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And we are looking at the fourth commandment out of the Ten Commandments found in Exodus 20. And we're looking at the fourth command, which is remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now, God gave us all the commandments of the Ten Commandments in order to protect us and literally to keep our lives from crashing. I always think about them as guardrails. And, and if you f follow the Ten Commandments, your life will stay you know, in the lane that you're supposed to be in, and you won't end up in the ditch someplace wondering what happened. So uh, God gave us this command to remember the Sabbath, to keep it holy, to protect us, and, and really in two ways. The, the first way is to honor God. The Sabbath was given to us so that we would honor God to set aside a day to worship, to remember and to celebrate our Savior. And he literally instituted this uh, when the children of Israel came out of Egypt and they'd been set free from slavery by God. He had saved them from being slaves. And he said, I want you to set aside one day a week for me, to honor me, to worship me, to remember what I have done in your life. And uh, the Sabbath was a big deal under the Old Covenant. They literally said, you don't do anything on the Sabbath. You don't do any work on the Sabbath. And uh, that was reflected for a long time in our Western society with blue laws and, and a lot of stores being closed on Sundays. And of course, we've come a long way from that and gotten uh, away from that. And there's still places uh, in Israel, especially among the Orthodox communities, where the Sabbath is still a big deal. Um, but what does that mean for us? Those of us who are under the new covenant, not the old covenant. Well, we still need to give God priority, especially for worship. And can I just be honest? I'm grieved when parents value almost every activity for their children over corporate worship, over the family worship of God. Um, you know, uh, I, I just, if I could ask anything, it's please honor God and lead your family to honor God with worship because it pays eternal dividends and it protects the souls of your children. So Sabbath was given to us to honor God and Sabbath was given to us to keep us healthy. That's right, keep us healthy. God wants to protect our lives. And the truth is we need rest. We need rest. Workaholism is a sin. Now it's a sin that the church has embraced and celebrated and baptized and, uh, and all of that, but it's not true. It's still a sin. It's disobedient to God for people to work uh, themselves to death, for them to work themselves to where they neglect their family, they neglect, neglect their own health. Uh, it's just not a healthy thing to do. Uh, rest, Sabbath, is trusting God to provide. In the Old Testament, it was trusting God to provide for seven days what we worked for for six. Uh, you know, for us, uh, it's a statement when we rest that we're trusting God to provide for us because we're being obedient to God. And, and if we don't rest, if we don't take Sabbath, then what we're saying is, God, I don't trust you to take care of me. I have to take care of myself. So, uh, you know, Sabbath is for rest. It's for us to protect our lives because rest keeps us healthy. Rest keeps us healthy physically. It keeps us healthy spiritually. It keeps us healthy emotionally. And guess what? It keeps us healthy relationally with our family and with the people around us. Now, if you know me well at all, you know that I like to play. I mean, that's just part of who I am. And so uh, I like to play with my grandkids. I like to play with my friends. I like to play at work. I like to play at rest. And uh, in fact, I am far more productive working when I take adequate rest, when I honor God with the Sabbath and keep it holy. So uh, I'm going to encourage you today, Calvary. If you want to be blessed, then remember the Sabbath because living it will keep you holy. I hope that helps. And I'm praying that God would bless you.